Hello, everybody. My name is Mohit. Um, it's my pleasure to be here with is you today. Is it your microphone? Um, yes. Yes? Okay. All right. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So, my name is Mohit. I'm a Turkish Cypriot. Um, I manage two companies on both sides of the island. And what I basically do is I do trade on both sides of the island and across the island. So, our company is engaged with Cypriot products locally produced products, both in North and South, and we trade them across. And actually, when you say Green Line trade, actually it sounds a little bit confusing and scary, but um, it's, it's my pleasure to see within the last few uh, past years, actually, starting from 2018, uh, as Mr. Colin Stewart mentioned, the numbers traded across especially from north to south, started increasing from around 5.5 million euros, uh, hopefully end on, at the end of this year up to 12 million euros. But when we say green line actually, green line trade, uh, it sounds only from north to south. I mean, that's how it started. But it's also possible to trade products across from south to north. Um, you just have to find the niche, the market, the market need and you only have to act as a businessman, business mind, uh, to be able to find the right product. So if I need to speak a little bit uh, about what I do, um, I do, I act as an intermediary. So, and I call the products that we trade, products for cooperation actually, because the reason I started the project uh, right before the pandemics, before I was just importing goods from abroad to the Republic, but after the pandemic started, you know, you just sit at home and, and try to watch, to try to understand what's going on in the whole world. And, and you hear all these news that uh, supply change is start to break up, broken down. And within very uh, short amount of time, we'll have uh, problems in supplying some raw materials, uh, goods and products. And considering that we are an island, we live on an island, actually, um, it sounds to me that it's going gonna, it's gonna to really hit us at some point. And so I said, okay, so why don't we just start cooperation between both sides, whatever we have, um, just to see um, what is feasible, what is viable, and how we can yield our resources, actually the manufacturing resources, um, all over the island. So that's how I started thinking about it. And I came up with this website called tradetreenline.com.cy. The idea is the buyers and the sellers of both sides, they actually go and log into the, uh, onto the website. The website is up, by the way, but it's not practical, uh, operational at the moment due to some reasons. Um, so when you log into the website, actually, you actually can see the products that can be traded uh, across the green line. And then from, from their point of view, uh, you can start sending questions, sending inquiries, requests, asking questions. Uh, from there, um, our companies kick in, and we try to help people actually to find the right product, right, right supply, right uh, buyer and seller uh, on both sides of the island and bring them together. And there, another reason why I call these products for cooperation because we make everything open book. Um, when we bring suppliers and buyers together, we don't really hide anything. We take them to the factories on both sides where, 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 where the product is actually produced. Uh, we introduce them to each other, they see each other, they sit down, and we all sit down actually around one table and imagine any other possibility that we can do this. I mean, living on this island in the north and south, you, when you don't have a common goal or common vision towards something, you don't really try to get uh, in touch with, uh, with each other. And that's what we have been seeing actually over the over past few years, since 2008, especially when Turkish uh, lira started to devaluate against euros and other uh, foreign currencies. There is a tremendous increase in, um, in demands uh, of some kind of products, especially uh, in the north from south. And that actually helped many people, many companies to start interaction. So I agree with uh, Mr. Colin Stewart. So in practice, we see many people interacting with each other, and these people are uh, increasing, um, increasing the communication between themselves. So that is something that we have to really 
um, see as important and that we really have to take into consideration these days because we really need the communication between among the people of Cyprus from uh, between the people um, south and north and business corporations have this big opportunities to bring all the all the people together actually and that's what we have, what we have been uh, doing and there are challenges yes green line trade is very limited and although you can see some products that can be traded uh, over the green line on the paper um, in, the, in the legislation actually it, there they cannot be because there are some political concerns and there are some certificate issues there are some inspect, in, inspection issues and that is something that we really uh, face all the time. But, okay, be the reason why I uh, call myself entrepreneur, you know, business people always uh, try to find way around how to tackle the problem. So that's what we are doing. So in order to actually, to be able to trade over the green line, you have to get ready uh, to see uh, the problems, to, to, to get ready to tackle those problems. And... I cannot count here, but I don't know how many times I, I got stuck at the, at the green line uh, waiting for an inspection, waiting for an officer to answer me questions. Um, but still, I mean, I'm doing it, I am enjoying it because actually the motive is to bring, uh, to, to communicate across the island. I mean, the motive is not the money. Money comes, money follows after whenever you do the things right, actually. So what we, that's what we are trying to do. We are trying to establish sustainable um, relationship with people of Cyprus, both from north and south. And once you establish that right communication, things just follow. And other thing is we have to think about our children in the, in the future because when we don't bring all these people together and when there is no communication, there is no way that you can actually uh, take a step ahead. So. I, I, I live it every day because I do it almost every day. I do uh, communications uh, every day about what to trade, about the products, about the samples, about uh, the invoicing, about the money transfer and everything. And that's why I think I have the highest um, telephone bill in the company because I've been, uh, I just talk across the island and uh, because of, due to the roaming, probably, I don't know, across Luxembourg in Europe or Sweden, I don't know from where. So I pay very high <laughs> telephone bills. So um, so this is what I do, Those, this is what we do. And the Green Line trade uh, is a challenging opportunity that we can actually start cooperation, sustainable cooperation. And I don't know, how, as I said, how many people I invited to over to North, how many business dinner we went together with the people that never knew each other, how many times we went to Istanbul, Turkey to see factories, what's going on, um, the raw materials, you know, I mean, when it comes to business, business is business, and it doesn't really matter, so uh, thank you for your keynote speech, uh, Mr. Colin Stewart, that's, I mean, that really, really explains everything. Um, we have to try, and we have, we just shouldn't uh, be scared of um, the political concerns, the political climate going on around. People are people, business people are business people, so we just have to do what we have to do, I think. So, yes, thank you so much.